Yes, the call to the post for the first race for two-year-old pacing fillies who are non-winners of $2,000 lifetime. This for Illinois Breads. First half of the Daily Double. Win, play, show, and exacto wagering offered as well. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the first race. Number one is Muffy, owned by Cario Stable of Huntington Beach, California, trained by Rick Schrock, and Rick Schrock is the driver. There's the two, Turbonium, owned by Steve Newcomb of Chicago, trained by Tex Motes. Eric Ledford is up. Here's the three, Zibber Bibber Boo, owned by John Krasnikin, Jr. of Streeter, Illinois, trained by Irvin Miller. His brother, Andy, is in the bike. Number four, Swoops, is owned by Sharon Teefee of Mount Sterling, Illinois. Swoops is trained by Bob Walker, and there is a late driver change there, a reminder that it is Randall Jacobs, Randy Jacobs driving number four, Swoops. Number five is Fox Valley Mucci, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, trained by Tony Alanya. Dale Heitman is in the bike. Here's number six, Fox Valley Bobble, owned by Benita Simmons of Springfield, Illinois, by J. Byron Lowe of Grand Junction, Colorado. Tom Simmons is the trainer driver. Number seven, Ms. Bossy Pants, is owned by Jay Sundeen of Crete, Illinois, and by the Tim O'Brien Stables of Chicago, trained by Jay Sundeen, the driver, National Hall of Famer, Dave McGee. And number eight will be Bev's Bid, owned by Beverly Kruger Jones of Nokomis, Illinois, trained by Tom Simmons. Tony Morgan is in the bike. A reminder that the six and the eight are both trained by Tom Simmons, but they will race uncoupled. The track condition is fast. Daily double players, you've got less than five minutes to post. And here they come. They're off and pacing. Ms. Bossy Pants goes out for the lead on the far outside. Swoops gets away second. Muffy is right there toward the inside, along with Zibber Bibber Boo as they move down into the first turn. And Muffy will benefit from that inside starting spot and cuts the corner heading toward the quarter mile mark with the lead by a half length as Swoops moves up on the outside in second. Zibber Bibber Boo, the gray filly, will get a good trip. She's tucked away third. Ms. Bossy Pants is on the rail fourth, but she may not stay there for too long as they race by the quarter. Then Turbonium, Fox Valley Bobble, is next. 27-2 and two for the first quarter, and there goes Muffy right back to the outside. Muffy regains the lead at the entry to the back stretch by a length and a half. Swoops goes second. Zibber Bibber Boo is racing third, and then Ms. Bossy Pants is fourth toward the inside. Gap of two to Turbonium, Fox Valley Bobble, Fox Valley Moochie, and Bev's bid is last. Racing to the half-mile mark, Zibber Bibber Boo. It's gearing up on the outside and goes toward the lead, and there's a problem for Ms. Bossy Pants. She's made a break. The favorite, Ms. Bossy Pants, just went off stride going to the half-mile mark. She was awkward. She took a bad step. McGee did all he could to gather her up, but she broke stride, and she lost seven lengths to the leader. Off the half in 56 and 4, Muffy has the lead by a length heading to the far turn. Turbonium moves up on the outside in second. Fox Valley Bobble in the outer flow third. Zipper Bibber Boo needs room. She's fourth, buried inside of Fox Valley Moochie, and then Bev's bid. Approaching the three quarters, Turbonium, the new leader, by a length now. Muffy goes second, then Fox Valley Bobble. Three quarters, 126 and four. Turbonium leads them off the far turn by a length and a half to Fox Valley Bobble. Fox Valley Moochie angles wide into third. Muffy is dropping back toward the rail into the final eighth mile here for Turbonium, opening up on a four-length lead. And then Fox Valley Moochie and Fox Valley Bobble and Bev's bid, who's trying to move up late around Muffy. Coming to the line, Turbonium is going to pick up a new lifetime record. First career win for Tur Turbonium, 155-2. and two. She won it by three. And then it was Fox Valley Moochie in second, close for third, either Fox Valley Bobble or Bev's bid. Got well established on the Chicago driving circuit. Still ventures back to the Windy City once in a while, but he had the courage to ply his trade at the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey. And it's been a move that's been very successful. That young man in the blue and gold colors. Eric Ledford, ladies and gentlemen, the driver with Turbonium. Eric sharing a word with winning trainer Tex Motes. The winning owner is Steve Newcomb. One of the most successful owners in Illinois stakes history, and his two-year-old Cole Muffler filly picks up this overnight or non-stakes race in 155 and two. She is by Cole Muffler, bred by Johnson and others in Illinois, and the result of the first race, 256 official. More in a moment. Let's take a look at the entire official order of.